Hello, my name is Maud, I'm an automated test conceptor and welcome to this tutorial on how to connect to a SAP server. In this first part, we'll see how to connect to a SAP server through a jelly test and then we'll see a little about the SAP interface. SAP is one of the world's leading producers of business process management software, developing solutions that facilitate the efficient processing of data and information flow in organizations. SAP is an independent software from Agilitest. It acts as a solution to data and business processing. In order to use SAP, you need to install a client, the SAP logon, that will allow you to interact with the SAP server. Once you have your ID, you simply have to enter them in a start channel action in Agilitest. To do that, click on the channel action and then select start channel. Then, instead of using the Chrome application that appears by default, you need to open SAP by selecting its process in a drop-down menu. Enter the SAP server you have access to, that you can find in the, in the SAP logon, and then click on Enable Basic Authorization. Here, enter your ID, username and password. A quick tip, if you don't want your password to appear in the action, you can create a cryptid password with Agilitest available in the project's parameters. Once the ID has been filled in, the connection is made automatically during the execution. As a reminder, it is also possible to configure commonly used applications to appear directly in the Applications panel in the Start Channel action. This also works for SAP sessions. This shortcut allows you to avoid sharing information related to the connection to an SAP server, such as the ID or the password, if you want to work on a SAP test on several workstations. To use this shortcut, you need to modify the ATS properties. For that, click on the Configuration menu. Then, click on Edit Configuration. This will open the ATS properties. Then, under the Applications, you can enter an SAP session. You will find more details on how to complete an SAP session in the properties in our documentation. Then, save your file, and when you go back to your Start Channel action, you will find the session you've just entered. Then, we will take a quick look at the SAP interface. Once you are connected on a SAP server, you have access to the SAP interface. From there, creating a SAP test is the same as creating a web test, where you can capture elements with a capture tool in order to manipulate the components. You will have different, different interfaces possible, corresponding to the screens that were made available for your account. The access to those screens depends on the role you occupy in the company and the needs you have to organize your data. SAP models allow you to manage many business aspects, such as finance, sales, production, logistic, distribution, accounting, and human resources. The SAP on screen displays the models available to users. These modules correspond to programs that allow you to manage different business aspects, such as inventory management or HR information. From there, you can open the capture tool to capture the elements you want to use to create a test. For example, you can capture a text input bar for your tables or grids. That will create a text input action in your script in which you can enter the table you want to see. When you have modules that appear in a pop-up, you need to switch windows in order to execute actions on them. To do that, you click on the window action in Agility Test and then you select switch window. Then you just have to select the window with the index number 1, since the principal window corresponds to the index number 0. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't hesitate to leave a like and comments about future tutorials or feedback about this one. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time. Bye bye!